I know I have to make a decision, not on the bill as I would like to see it, but as it is. My criticism of the legislation has been well reported. I do not retract those criticisms. I incorporate them into the statement. They stand as legitimate and cautionary. I have doubts about the bill. I do not think it is a step toward anything I've supported in the past. This is not the bill I wanted to support, even as I continue efforts until the last minute to try to modify the bill. However, after careful discussions with President Obama, Speaker Pelosi, my wife Elizabeth, and close friends, I've decided to cast a vote in favor of the legislation. If my vote is to be counted, let it count now for passage of the bill hopefully in the direction of comprehensive health care reform. We must include coverage for those excluded from this bill. We must free the states. We must have control over private insurance companies and the costs their very existence imposes on American families. We must strive to provide a significant place for alternative and complementary medicine, religious health science practice, and the personal responsibility aspects of health care, which include diet, nutrition, and exercise. The health care debate has been severely hampered by fear, by myths, and by hyperpartisanship. The president clearly does not advocate socialism or a government takeover of health care. The fear that this legislation has engendered has deep roots not in foreign ideology, but in a lack of confidence, a timidity, a mistrust and fear, which post 9-11 America has not been able to shake. This fear has so infected our politics, our economics, and our international relations that as a nation, we're losing sight of the expanded vision the electrifying potential we caught when we caught a glimpse of the potential of the election of President Obama, the transformational potential of his presidency and of ourselves can still be courageously summoned in ways that will reconnect America to our hopes for expanded opportunities for jobs, housing, education, peace, and yes, health care.